Okay, so we accept that the RMS meter is the boss. Because we have to have our mixes at minus 6, minus 7, then everything else is secondary. And so, other than, say, sound quality, but that's what we're working on. We can do both. Um, so any changes we make to this mix all have to be done under uh, the rule, or the minus 6 king over here. That's the deal. And so it's very important... Um, that we keep our mix loud from here on out and we shape our mix so that it makes sense with this processing that we're doing to it. And that, that's a huge problem I think a, a lot of guys face is they start to get loud, hear stuff distort, and they say, well, loudness sucks. And that's not it. The problem is your mixes suck. And I'll, I'll just be blunt, and this is a, a conclusion that took a long time for me to, to get, that uh, when I, I'd make a mix, and if I am so cocky where I think my mix is so damn perfect, then a great mix can withstand this loudness stuff. That's what's funny about it is uh, the problems with mud, problems with excessive uh, kick drum and, and snare transients, etc. All of these, uh, a great mix, you toss a limiter on it, add two more decibels of gain, it almost never breaks. Put a pro mix in, you'll hear what I'm talking about. Go ahead and add more gain. Put a limiter, I mean, on a, uh, on a, on a mega mix, and it still sounds mega. That's what's kind of the weird thing about all this. So the way I started to look at this when I really started experimenting and really said to myself, you know, I'm going to get loud and I'm going to play in the, or attempt anyway to play at the big leagues as best I can. I found that, that mix and loud improved my mixes. And that's another thing I'm going to rant about later. Kind of, kind of spill the beans on that one. But uh, anyhow, so what, what, any problems I hear from here on out, uh, they should be done within this. Well, this is a big reason. Hang on. This is a big reason that I feel we have to be uh, getting loud on the mix itself. And in the modern age, it's real disputed on whether you should be doing self mastering. And that's another deal entirely. But I don't see any benefit for a person to take a mix, like say right now, turn all the loudness stuff off and render it. And then in some two bus processor, SoundForge, uh, WaveLab, something like that, or even Cubase again, re importing it just working with a stereo file because we can't fix if, if the bass is muddy then we have to eq the whole mix well we can just eq the bass right now so why would we want to limit ourselves to that and for me there's too much going back and forth back and forth back and forth and i really do want to get that perfect well when i'm going back and forth with the limiter back to the bass the limiter back to the kick drum uh, you know and all this rendering it, it, it you know i could render a, a track 10 times before i got it right or i could just take 10 minutes and do it right here so anyway, uh, let's kind of look at some of the common problems that deal with uh, when it comes to the, the, the limiter will expose when we start getting up really loud. 